Let's talk about some useful array methods. So when you're dealing with arrays, there may be a time when you want to get the maximum value of the array, the minimum value, the sum of all the elements, or the average of all the elements. And I'm going to show you how to create methods that can do all those. In my class array methods, let's first create an array of integers called array. And we'll assign it to just some random numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And let's start creating some methods. First, we're going to get the, the maximum, the maximum value of the array. So we'll make a method that looks like this, public, static. And since the maximum value of the array is an integer, we will return int. And let's call this max. It'll take an array, an integer array as a parameter. Call this x. And we can get the max by first creating a temporary variable, int temp, and assigning it to the first element of the array, x at index 0. And, we'll, and, and then what we could do next is loop through the array for int i equals 0, and i is less than x dot length, the size of the array that we passed to this method. We'll loop through it one index at a time with i plus plus. And we'll check if that temporary value is less than x at the next index, the array, we can reassign temp to x at index i. It's like that. And then when we're done, we'll simply return temp. And we can try this out by printing out system.out.println max is max at we'll pass our array as an argument and run the program and we get the max is 10. Let's copy this method and it's a very slight change to get the minimum. So there's min. Let me fix my indentation. And in Eclipse you could fix indentation with control shift F or command shift F on a MacBook. Rename the method to min. And all we need to do is swap the little less than sign to a greater than sign. Now we have the min. So let's copy this line of code and change max to min. And change the max method call to the minimum method call. Rerun the program and we get the max is 10 and the minimum is 2. So now let's get the sum of all the numbers in the array. And to do that, let's just create this from scratch. It's going to be public static int sum. Pass the array to it. And to get the sum, we'll create an accumulator variable called int total. Start it off at 0, and we loop through the array. And I'm just going to copy this to save time. Loop through the array, and for every element in the array, we're going to add it to total. Total plus equals x at index i. And then simply return total. And now we can get the sum to print out by copying this line, saying the sum is, change the min method to sum, and the sum is 30. And finally, how do we get the average? So the average is very similar to the sum. I'm going to copy this method. And let's paste that right here. Let's call this average. So we already have the total right there, but before we return the total, all we got to do is just divide it by x dot length. Because that is how many elements are in the array. And to print out the average, we do the same thing in the main method and say that the average is and we'll call the average method. And the average is 6. So these are some very useful array methods to get the average, to get the sum, to get the minimum value, and the maximum value.